What's up guys, B-Rob here, and today I'm going to talk to you about single source complete proteins and how to get those naturally. I'll be right back. So today I'm going to do a few things. First I'm going to briefly explain what a single source protein and then I'm going to give you um, nine sources of how to get those naturally. And then I'm going to tell you my personal favorite. I'm going to give you three of my personal favorite uh, go-tos for single source uh, complete proteins. And then I'm going to give you my least favorite, my three least favorite um, sources to get those from. And those are just going to be my, just my personal opinions and things like that. Um, but first, let's get into it. So... Single source, natural, complete protein, what is that? Well, what defines a single source uh, complete protein is that it has the nine essential amino acids that are necessary for our body to, to do the good things that we want it to do. Now, the thing about it is, is what, our bodies can't make these nine essential amino acids on our own, uh, at least not at the, the, at the rate of how we need them to, to, for cell function and as you're active in your in your daily lives. So we have to get those from food. Now I know I do a lot of supplement reviews on here and that's because I do take supplements and a lot of times I take those supplements because of actually honestly a lot of times it's for lack of preparing or being in a situation where you know I don't have um, a good amount of those single source proteins these nine that I'm about to tell you about. So I do supplement, but the best thing to do is to get those naturally, and that's why I'm making this video. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the nine uh, natural sources of those complete proteins, and I'm going to actually list, list them right here for you to have them, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into them. So uh, the nine sources of those complete proteins, single source uh, complete proteins, uh, number one is red meats, uh, number two is poultry, Number three is fish. Number four, eggs. Number five is milk. Number six is cheese. Number seven is yogurt. Number eight is soybeans. And number nine is quinoa. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just giving you those as a source. I'm not telling you that you need to go out and eat all of these. I'm just giving these to you just for your information so you can be a lot smarter on this. Um, and if you are searching for natural sources of complete proteins and now that you maybe my definition was good enough for you to understand what those are well here you go now you have these nine sources right here that you could you could choose from all right so my first my personal favorite um, of these sources has to be number one is eggs um, I like eggs because um, again it's that they're pretty inexpensive they have all nine of the essential amino acids. Um, I mean, you get you get about six grams of protein for a, a large egg, and my body actually reacts really well on these. So eggs are my number one. My number two is salmon. I love salmon because uh, of it being a single source complete protein, but it also has those really good omega-3 fats. You can also get those from eggs too. Um, the thing about it though is you really want to select the egg that ha that has that are omega-3 uh, certified, which means that they fed the chickens omega-3 on, on omega-3 diet, um, the chickens that laid those eggs. All right, so my number one was eggs. My number two is, is salmon. My number three is quinoa. Uh, quinoa is one of those grains that is single source protein, really good for you um, as a power food, and I just really like it. Um, good in place of rice in a lot of ways when you uh, don't need those extra carbs. So those are my three favorite. Now, um, I do have an honorable mention here. Now, here's the thing is, is um, I love cheeseburgers. I really do. It's just, a, you know, we just can't uh, keep that, that temple of a body and just eat cheeseburgers all the time, right? So red meat and cheese are on the, that list. So I really do love cheeseburgers. So that puts them two together, right? But unfortunately, that leads a lot of uh, other things too, right? Like those, uh, those, those fats that we don't really want, right? We want the good fats right now. Um, so my three are, are eggs, salmon, and quinoa. Now my least favorite, and again, this is my personal preference, and I'm just giving it to you just for your information, because this channel is this is B Rob, and and really it's yeah, you may want to know my personal favorites. So my three least favorite is my number one is is milk. Um, I've never liked the taste of milk. 
Um, there was a time when I was trying to bulk up and I would put milk in my protein shakes and that's the only way I could drink those, but I had to get away from that because I found that milk was making me um, a little more like puffy, right? So so milk is, is one of my, is my least favorite of these. And honestly, I'm really not sure why we need milk in the human, as humans. Um, a lot of times milk is fortified with these, but it's on the list and you know it, the the health um, the health culture uh, recognizes that as a as a uh, complete single source complete protein natural single source complete protein although they fill it with all kinds of stuff to make it healthy for us but anyways so those and then um, soybeans soybeans is probably my my actually soybeans is actually my number one milk is my number two now here's the thing with soybeans. Um, <laughs> I'm going to probably irritate some people with this, but again, this is my personal thing. So here's the thing with soybeans. There's a lot of mixed research out there and I do have some soy, uh, in some of the protein powders that I get. There's a little bit of soy in those, but overall I try to watch my intake of soy. The reason is, is that, uh, there's a lot of mixed studies out there about its effects on estrogen, right? And so, although a little bit of estrogen or the healthy amount of estrogen for man is good, uh, we don't want too much estrogen for obvious reasons because our dominant hormone is sex hormone is protein. So, with that being said, my number one is soybeans. I think soybean gets a lot of a lot of um, publicity, and a lot of times I think that in the, especially in the vegetarian. But I think a lot of these men really need to really check out their intake of soy and maybe tone it down some. But anyway, so soy is my number one. Milk's my number two for the reasons that I explained. And my number three is, is actually yogurt. So I can eat some yogurt, but honestly, I just really don't like the taste of it. Um, it there's some that I do. I can, I can do when I'm on diet, but that's one of my least favorites. And I had to give you three, right? So, hopefully from this video, you've gathered um, a good description of what a complete source, a single source complete protein is and naturally, and I gave you a list of, of nine of them, and I told you my personal three favorites and my three least favorites, and I even gave you an honorable mention. So, thank you for tuning in, and hopefully this helps expand your, your mind and your info bank on health and wellness. This is B-Rob. Also, you can check me out. I'm blogging over at leanwellonline.com, so check me out over there. But don't forget to subscribe, comment, like this video, subscribe to the channel. This is B-Rob. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys.